Let's see what we got here. Use Wazda to move. Can I change the size of the cursor? It's like massive. No. Uh-oh. Use space while moving to dash. You evade all enemy attacks. Move to the altar and press E to collect the basic spell. Your spell slots are shown at the bottom of the screen. Press or hold to cast your basic spell. Use your basic spell to destroy the training dummy. Enemy projectile glow. Oh. You will collect additional spells over the course of a run. Move to the altar and press E to collect the primary spell. Chain lightning. Press tab or click spellbook icon. Uh, and then, oh, okay. Some spells cost mana to cast. Keep an eye on the mana bar at the bottom. Move to the combat altar and press E to proceed to combat. Uh-oh. Does that regen my mana, my left click? No. The yellows are clearly crits. You gain rewards after, um... You gain rewards after each round of combat. Rewards include spells, tomes, and emblems. Place your cursor over an emblem or attempt to see what bonuses it will provide. Lightning damage you deal is increased by 15%. Oh, I see. 1.3 mana per second. Collected emblems are shown at the bottom left corner. Choose an additional reward. How do I know what's up? Your critical strike chance. The first instance of spell damage you deal to enemies will be a guaranteed crit. Damage you deal is increased by up to 50% based on how far away they are. I'm just gonna do crit. Health, crit hit damage, life per second. Crit hit damage. You're training, use the combat altar to proceed to combat. Okay, interesting. Oh, there's, there's guys with bows. Is that my level in the book, or is that how many spells I have? Is that a health pot? I feel like I already do a shit ton of damage. Okay, nice. Spell slot unlocked. Oh yeah, it is the number of spells. Turn Ethereal for three seconds. While Ethereal, your movement is unhindered and 80% faster. Nearby enemies also flee in fear. Casting other spells interrupts this effect. That seems good. Attack speed, your move speed. After dashing the next spell you cast with interest and it deals 80% more damage. Close combat, why not? Cooldown, speed, attack speed, attack speed. Interesting. Huh. Let me see how this works. Uh, okay. Oh my god, dude, the chain lightning is so good. Oh, the cooldown's pretty high on that. All right. Three waves. 
I guess the tutorial just goes right into the main game. Crit hit chance. Uh, sure. Oh, do I pick both up? Whenever you cast a defensive spell, you drop a lesser healing? No. Damage you deal is increased by up to 50% based on how far away they are. Dashing through enemies marks them for, uh, uh, when a marked target receives spell damage, the mark is consumed to deal an additional 200% of your power as damage. That seems really good. I don't know, though. I'll go with this one. I have to dash behind them, though. Let's go with mana so I can spam my chain lightning. All my stats are on the bottom right. That's alright. Okay, so I can pass right through them. No! Shows, I just realized it showed me when my cooldown's up. I have a shift ability. Spell slot unlocked. Alright, what is this? Summon a line of thick vines in target direction that roots enemies in place and slows their attack speeds by 50%. Sure. Oh, that's very colorful. Maximum mana. Healing potions. Oh, that's actually good synergy. Sure, I'll take uh, Ruthlessness. Range resistance, cooldown speed, power. I, I wonder if power is also like... Lightning, is it, is it? I don't know. Huh. Oh, this is a boss. Oh, God! I'm assuming these dudes keep spotting. Wait, 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 there's a timer? I have to kill him within this time limit? What? It reset. Oh my god, I died. Oh, is it the enemy spawn timer? Oh. Well, shit. Alright, let's do that again. Okay. Another one. Power fist. Punch towards target direction. <laughs> Hold to channel. Channel a concentrated beam of sunlight towards target direction. Ooh, that seems nice. I got a beam and then a punch. Okay, so now we got a melee shit. Interesting. Oh, that does a shit ton of damage. Wait, what was that fully charged? The longer I channel, the more damage I do?
It must be what that is. Can I change my... I don't like that. Whenever you take damage, you do 100% of that unmitigated amount as arcane damage to all enemies. Ha health. Casting a basic spell grants you 2% attack speed. The next spell you cast knocks back and deals damage equal to 50 plus 200 of your bonus maximum life. Your critical hit chances is increased by 2.5% for every 15 mana missing. Chat, what do you guys think? I think Frenzy's kind of nice. Mana, mana. I'm gonna just have crazy, I want crazy mana per second. So it's just like, the regen is so fast. Oh my god, yo, Frenzy is good. Oh, Frenzy is only off my melee. It's actually kind of nice synergy. Turn Ethereal. That's weird. I already had that. Cooldown speed. During combat, a heart familiar is tethered to you. Whenever you heal or regen 20 life, it releases a pulse that deals 40 fire damage. Your cooldown speed is increased by 35. After an enemy damages you, there's a turn of flee and fear. I mean, what if I pick up... What if I'm full HP? Hopefully when I'm full HP and I pick something up, it does more damage. I'm literally going full mana build. Full mana per second build. kind of sucks. If it worked when I was full healed, that'd be nice. 40 damage is not that much. 40 damage is like one hit on the pulse. Alright, let me see. Life per second, crit hit damage. You heal for 20% of the mana you spend. That's really nice. Deal 600% of your life regen as arcane damage each second to enemies within six tiles. 600% of two. Whenever you take 30 damage, all cooldown timers are reduced. This seems really good. But I like damage. Cooldown speed, power, melee. Was that red thing me? I don't know if that red thing was me. I'm gonna take damage just to see how much I heal for. Oh yeah, the regen's pretty nice. Oh yeah, I didn't take the heal. Wait, what is this again? I kind of forgot what that is. Oh, during combat, heart familiars head to you whenever you heal. Oh, that, okay, so that keeps track, that little buff, until it hits 20. Unleash a cone of fire towards target direction that engulfs enemies, dealing 160% of your power as fire damage over 6 seconds. 
Affected enemies are not likely to be critically hit. Attack speed. I mean, I have to take this. It's my shift. Oh, that looks sick, actually. So you wanna you wanna pop that and then nice. Fire damage deals increased your maximum mana. Oh my god. Yes. Melee resistance, maximum life, mana regen. I want to get to a point where I just spam my... Like, I never run out of mana. Is this four choices? Okay. Health regen. Your expert spells deal 20% more damage. I mean, that's good for my ult. Healing potions also restore mana. You float while channeling, allowing you to move- What? Your dash 30% further and your dash cooldown- Wow. I mean, this would- That's actually really good with my- I mean, the dash is really good, too, but that's kind of sick. Okay, okay. Life, crit hit chance, crit hit damage. Which one is my crit hit chance? I can't tell. Which one is it? Is it this? 13%? That's what it is. Ow! Uh oh. Fucking damage, bro. Holy shit, bullet hell. All right, all right. That fucking that was a jammer. Okay, health. Summon a field of electricity at target position for six seconds, dealing 7% of your power as lightning damage each second to enemies within five tiles. I think my fire, my acid fire, I think is way better. But I can grab this and put it in my spell book and I can switch out the, I can switch it out. Just to look at it. Eh, nah, acid fire is better. Your mana costs are reduced by 15%. What the fuck? Dude, I'm literally gonna get to the point where my mana never goes down. 
After traversing seven tiles, the next damage spell you cast deals 25% more damage. You heal for 20% of the mana you spend. While your mana is above 80%, your power is increased by 15 and you have a 20% chance of uh, evade incoming damage. Wait, enlightened one. Does this mean it's a buffed enlightened? Nah, I'm going with one. Life per second. Life regen. I'm gonna go with life as well. All right, I'm ready. I'm gonna sit in this corner. That was a new mob. Are those rats? What the fuck are those? I'm not sure what's causing that little red thing. I'm pretty sure... Is that the fucking dragon heart that's making it... Is it it's definitely me. I just don't know. Melee resistance, cooldown speed. Uh, I mean, you might... You pick up both. After traversing the next damage fall... Okay, I saw that. Critical hits ignite enemies, dealing 120% of your power is fire damage. Healing potions drop 25% more often. Let's go with spontaneous combustion. Oh my god. Where's my mana regen? I think this is mana regen. 15.8 mana a second. Oh my god. Holy shit. Wow. Nice. Whoops. What the hell is this? That's what that does. He shoots out poison. You're kidding. Nice. Max mana power. Is, I wonder what power is classified as. Is it melee and range damage? I don't know. Summon a shooting star that crashes down on target position after a brief delay. Dealing 100% of your power is arcane damage to enemies. All of your remaining mana is spent to increase the damage of the spell by 100% for every 10 mana spent. Yeah, this seems insane. If I literally pop all my shit and then shooting star. If 
that's a nuke. Oh, but you need 20 mana. Ah, it actually does like no damage. I think Acid Fire is better with the beam. Every 10 mana you spend shocks a random enemy, dealing 90% of your power. Oh god. Your melee resistance, lightning damage you deal is increased. Wait. Oh, I read it wrong. I don't think it's worth it. Acid fire is better. Movement speed, crit hit chance. No, acid fire is better. Because I can, I can literally debuff them all and they all take higher crit chance. Satisfying, um, like Soulstone survivors, the damage numbers are like really nice to look at, and the damage feedback is great. It makes it like way more fun. It's like very visceral combat. It's nice. I feel like I'm actually connecting my hits nicely. I wonder how much harder it gets, though. Oh, shit! As I'm getting my ass kicked. Oh, now these things aren't spawning, huh? Shit. Jesus. Okay, I can still run out of mana pretty heavily. Crit chance, crit chance. Your attack speed is increased. I'm assuming this makes it so my beam... Attack speed in this makes it so... My, uh... My beam ticks faster. Every 10% missing life increases your move speed, attack, and melee and range resist. Basic spells deal 25% more damage. Is this considered a basic spell? No, this is basic. This is primary. No, this would make it so my fist does more damage. I think attack speed is the way. Oh my. I swear that ticks way faster now. It looks like it ticks way faster. So I just have to dodge those and just survive is what that is. My little 
lightning attack is good for my ass. And I, I do damage to like the mo oh my god. I'm dead. No! Dude, I like that build, bro. Damn it, man. I fucking like that. I like that build, dude. That was nice. Hold on, I'm, I'm earning, I'm ordering food. Stress eating. What does that do? Oh, you get a new... Oh. This unlocks new abilities. Nice. Stormbow. Alright, what do we have here? Create a bubble at target position that explodes after a brief delay. Oh, I'd rather this. Power Fist fucking sucks. Oh, that's what that is. Solar Beam, Chain Lightning. I guess we could go with Chain Lightning build. Again, might as well. This is like the beginning build. It's not a bad ability. Like, it's a very powerful basic move. The chain lightning is satisfying. And I can move with it. Alright, what do we have here? Your maximum life is increased, range resistance. After an enemy dies, you there's a chance that they will feed. Uh, ah, oh, yikes. I mean, I could do conduit. What do you guys think? Conduit or uh, spontaneous? Hit damage. Yeah, the chain lightning is like kind of crazy though. Like it definitely chains hard. It just requires you to use your basic often. What is it, like 25 mana I cast? Better than Power Fist. Power Fist was kind of shitty. Teleport. You set the ground ablaze as you move, dealing center of your power's fire damage. Your mana regen is increased. I'm all about that mana regen. I, I really think it's the way. Wait, 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 wait. What the fuck? I wish I had that in the previous run. That was like a legendary mana regen. Some bullshit. I think the boss is next. Health, health. Enemies are gonna have a 20 reduce move speed, attack speed, casting basic spell, restore six mana. Whoa. Crit hit damage. Oh my God. Crazy. 
this guy wasn't here last time. Yo, that's actually crazy, dude. Oh yeah, acid fire is still good. Sumo, whenever you take damage, you do 100%. All damage taken from enemies within time is reduced by 18%. That seems really nice. That's like defensive worth getting. But yeah, I could reroll. Damage from enemies is reduced by 50% after blocking 15 instances of damage. This effect is disabled. Casting a basic ball grants you 2% attack speed. I'll go with Frenzy again. Uh, and then maybe move speed. Oh, this is boss fight. Oh my god. That's actually fucking crazy. Mana regen. You deal first percent more damage to enemies within 3.5 tiles. That's not bad. Nice. Your expert spells deal 20% more damage. During combat, a heart familiar is tethered. Uh... Uh, I already did Dragon Heart. I think I'm gonna go with one. Literally doubled my crit. I'll go max health. Oh, that fucking poison. Got the strat down. You can, you can hump one to just keep spamming your basic attack to regen the mana to kill the ones coming uh, towards you. Encase yourself in a layer of stone for up to six seconds, absorbing damage equal to 40% of your maximum life. That ain't bad, actually, over a teleport, just like tank shit. Your mana costs are reduced by 15%. Whenever you cast a defensive spell, you drop a lesser healing potion. Wow. Honestly, I think that's really good. With stone form? That's kind of crazy synergy right there. Oh, and it holds it. 88 damage. Yeah, I kind of like that. I don't... And then I guess I could do a cooldown reduction here.
lightning really chains. build stronger than the last one. This spell is just more powerful. Four power, life regen. After every damage you, there's a 20... That will be fun. No. Your crit hit chance is increased by 2.5% for every 15 mana missing. What do you guys think? Two or three? Let's go with two. Could have done cooldown reduction there. Fucking mobs. Okay. Mana regen. Uh, conjure two blades that spin rapidly around you, destroying enemy projectiles and deal 28% of your power as arcane damage. Primary. I can just see what it does. Arcane damage deals to enemies reduces their power and move speed. Those two are together. No. Maximum life. Each type of elemental damage dealt to enemies reduces their damage resistance by 7%. Honestly, 60 HP is pretty insane. But that makes them kind of vulnerable. True. Ignite on crit. All damage deals increase by time, but your attack speed is reduced. Casting basic spells restores 12 mana. Um, I could, I mean, this will make it so I chain lightning more, even more. This isn't bad with chain lightning though. Crit hit damage. I don't think that's that great of a move. I mean, it's good for projectiles. Mm. Nah, honestly, that would be a good move with attack speed.
the stone form is so good. It's so good. Attack speed. Casting uh, can do 4% attack speed for 4 seconds. Your expert spell deals 20% more damage. Honestly, I, mm, the 30% more crit is nice, but I think Frenzy 2 is good. Life, melee resistance, crit hit damage. Alright, this is where I died last time. Chain lightning one taps those fucking annoying bullet hell ones. Holy shit, dude. So much damage on the- I can just one tap those annoying flies. Nice. That- is that- whenever an enemy dies, you gain 2% life and mana regen for 3.5 seconds. Holy shit. Cooldown speed. Shooting star. We already know what that does. After- there's a- Dashing? No, fuck that. Your move speed? That's literally the best thing. I guess I could have re-rolled. I'm doing max mana. I guess I should have re-rolled that. I like how- I like how obvious you see- it's very reactive. You see how fast Frenzy picks up. Where the fuck do they come from? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! What the fuck? This is actually a pretty cool area. 
Ma uh, maximum mana, holy shit. Maximum life. Lightning damage you deal is increased by 15%. Oh my god. One or three here. I think I'll just do with go with more damage. And then attack speed. The lightning build. Stone form is so good. It's such a clutch item. Like 88 damage is basically having 88 more health. All right, that was a little scary. Okay, nice. Okay, what do we have here? Storm Bow, primary damage lightning. Oh shit, pure lightning build, new primary move? Um... Wait, does this take mana? It's cool, but uh-uh, the other move is, is no, 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 no. Burst is insane. Each type of elemental damage dealt to enemies reduces their damage resistance. Whenever you collect a healing potion, you deal 400% of its maximum healing potential is damage. Every 10% missing a lot. Um, I'm gonna reroll. I think I'm gonna reroll. Whenever you cast a fire spell, you gain 2.5% crit chance and 5% crit. Di no. Basic spell, 25% more damage. When you take damage, you deal 100% of that. Um. I mean, I might as well increase my basic spell damage. And then more attack speed. The 10th stack is what's crazy. Fucker does. You gotta kill that guy fast. Move speed, attack speed. Whenever you cast three spells, a spread of three projectiles are launched towards target's direction that each deal 80% of your power is arcane. Three spells, a spread of three projectiles. Your dash 30% further and your dash cooldowns reduced. The power is increased. Your power is increased by 12 for each equipped spell on cooldown. That would be cute. Those are my two cooldowns right there. And this only triggers when this breaks. Should I try hail? Oh, okay, nice, nice, nice. Uh, it's okay. 
I think I'm just gonna up my power. My damage is insane. Burst is such a good ability because the range and the spam ability of it. The bow, I don't know if the bow does a shit ton of damage. Solar beam, your cooldown speed is increased by 35%. Nice. Power increase. Basic spells deal 50% more damage. I could go power because of my right click, but 50% on burst is kind of massive. 3% crit chance. I'm already at 25. I'm thinking I go more health. the boss upping my shit? Bigger waves. New challenge level unlocked? Wait, was that GG? Victory. Five of five. Apparition? Blood packed starting spell choice. Ugh! Sometimes I wish these style of games were longer. I feel like the build could have gotten way better. All right. I always wish those games were longer, man. I mean, that was pretty fucking fun, though. That was cool.